The outlook for the economy. How much recession risk do you see? And to what degree do you fact that in, factor that into the buying decisions that you make? Do you need a wider margin of safety, a cushion, than you did, say, even five weeks ago when everybody thought everything was fine? Um, I think, look, the economy's fine. It is. The economy's, whether we're growing at three, two, or one, for what we do, it's great. It's still money good. Yeah, it's still money good. I just need, what I want, is I want, as you've got issues, as the economy is slowing down a little bit, people are gonna get nervous, but we'll be able to buy that debt. Like, I'll give you an example of something we're doing. Um, Telsa, so great company. It's got about sort of 40, 50, 40 billion dollars of equity value. We're factoring some of that paper. And what I mean by that is people are coming to us and saying, I don't wanna take the risk that I'm not gonna get paid in 90 days. So we'll on Tesla. On Tesla. So we're we're buying that around sort of 95, 96 cents on the dollar, and we're getting paid, you know, 100 cents on the dollar in three months. So when you take a look at that, you're getting massively overpaid for that. Why? Just people are nervous. But from an economic standpoint, I would look at that company and say, there's nothing to be nervous about. I've still got 40 billion of equity value. Yet people are nervous. And, and that's irrespective of whether Elon Musk is successful over the long run or not. Yeah, well, look, my kids are buying Teslas. I mean, they, you know, I, I know what's going on there. I look at the equity value, but at the same time, from a business standpoint, we're making 10, 12% on a piece of paper that we shouldn't be.